In this episode, we are going to find the derivative of the following functions or equation. So, from the A part, we are going to start with finding the derivative. So, here we can see that we have combination of x and y, and it makes it an implicit word, function. So, first we have to apply derivative to the x squared with respect to the x. As we apply derivative to 2xy dx and derivative to the y squared dx and derivative to the constant 5 dx. So the first part, if we apply derivative to x squared, differentiating that will give you 2x plus now, when we check derivative of 2xy, it involves two functions, x and y. So this makes it what? A product. So we can use the product rule to expand this form. So with the product rule, what do we have to do? We can hold one of the function, differentiate the other, and we are, we are good to go. So first, let's hold the 2y and differentiate the x and if we differentiate the x that is going to be 1 plus we are going to hold the x right and differentiate the 2y and meaning that is going to be x if you differentiate 2y you are going to get what 2 but since we are differentiating a y that is going to have another dy dx is that okay Plus the second or the third part derivative of y squared. And that is going to give us 2y. Since we are differentiating a y, we are still going to have dy dx. And derivative of the constant is going to be 0. So to rearrange this, we are going to have our 2x plus 2y plus 2x y dx and plus 2y dy dx should be equal to 0. So now we have two of them having dy dx and two of them without dy dx. So we have to take them one by one and group like them. So I'll group all the dy dx here. So 2x dy dx plus 2y dy dx and this is going to be negative 2x, negative 2y. Are we okay? So what do we have to do? I can factorize dy dx out, leaving 2x plus 2y to be equal to minus 2x minus 2y. If I divide both sides by 2x plus 2y, that is going to be 2x plus 2y. So this can take this out. My derivative is going to be negative 2x minus 2y and 2x plus 2y. I can further simplify this part to be now here. What can I do? I can factorize out negative 2x giving me x plus y, bring out 2, even x plus y here. So this can take this, so dy dx, negative 2 on 2, so that is going to give me negative 1. Therefore, my derivative for that function is going to be negative 1. Are we okay? All right, so let's go to the d part. The B part is 5xy minus y cubed equal to 8. Here what we have to do is to apply derivative to the function. So B, this is 5xy and we have another function which is minus y cubed equals to 8. I'll apply is to that the x minus y cube the x equal to derivative of 8. 
So we can see that x, y is also a product of x and y. So we have to use the product rule to solve for that. Now I will hold 5y and differentiate the x to be 1. Are we okay? Plus, now I'm going to hold the x and differentiate 5y. And when you differentiate 5y, that is going to be 5. But since it is y, I'm going to add the derivative ui dx to it. Now, the second part, this is going to be negative 3y squared. This is also implicit differentiation. I'll still add my dy dx to be equal to derivative of a constant that will be 0. So, I can say 5y plus 5x y on dx minus 3y squared dy on dx should be equal to 0. So now here I can group like terms and say my 5x minus 3y squared, I'll bring out the y on what? x. And this is going to be equal to negative 5y. Divide both sides by 5x minus 3y squared. This is 5x minus 3y squared. This will take this part. And my derivative is going to be negative 5y on 5x minus 3y squared. So this will be the final answer for the problem. Are we good? All right, so the C, the C part is also saying we should find the derivative of y is equal to s cubed plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 6. So this is quite simple. We have to apply derivative to all parts, which is b of y on dx should be equal to. We can apply derivative to all the function q plus 7x squared minus 8x plus 6. Everything on what? dx. So this means each term is affected by what? The derivative. So dy dx is going to be equal to, if we apply derivative to all the parts, I can expand. So this will be d s cubed on dx plus 7x squared on dx minus 98x on dx plus derivative of the 6 dx. Now dy on dx is going to be, if you differentiate s cubed with respect to x, then I'm going to get 3x squared. Now 7x squared, that is going to be 14x. 8x, that is going to give me negative 8. And the constant is going to give me what? 0. So the derivative dy dx is going to be 3x squared plus 14x, negative 8 plus 0, that is negative 8. This is going to be a derivative. Are we okay? All right, so we have the D part. Let's look at how we can solve the D. The D is also given us, we have our problem to be y is equal to the square root of s cubed minus 7. So, Quite simple, let's try and see what we will do. So we can see that I can apply derivative again to be equal to. Now, derivative of root of x cubed minus 7 dx. Is that true? Which is the same as if we have root of a, that is the same as a raised to the power half, right? So I'm going to have derivative of x cubed minus 7 raised to the power half. Everything what? Dx. And with this, we can, if you want to solve such a derivative problem, you can use the chain rule substitution. 
and this is going to be equal to first you have to multiply the power by the function minus 7 reduce it by 1 so that is going to be negative half then you multiply the whole expression by the derivative of what is in the bracket that is going to be 3x square are we okay so from this part we are going to have this is our half which is 1 on 2 this part can also come down as s cubed minus 7 but this time if it is negative and it's coming down that is going to be positive half multiplying 3s square so this can be equal to 3s square multiplied by 1 is still that on 2 remember if it is raised to the power half is still square root on the square root of s cube minus 7 are we okay therefore for that expression our derivative dy dx is going to be 3 s square on 2 multiplying the square root of s cube minus 7 and we are good to go all right thank you for watching this tutorial set check out for the next set where we are going to solve more complex examples please subscribe to the channel